Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Tools. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from Chris who wanted the uh, Gustav Carl in the colors of the uh, CeraV Gundam. I think I did a fairly okay job on that, and there was a good Space 650 queue up, and I'd been wanting to take a stab at this in space if I hadn't already. I don't remember if I have already. But either way, it was a good round and had some interesting moments, so I am using it. Uh, Gustav Carl's a 650 with the guard skill, has really good melee power, has the Jagan bazooka as its main, and the uh, uh, Jagan, uh, or I think it's the D-type Jagan's bazooka, and then the uh, beam rifle as a sub-weapon. And I just mount, managed to get right in the middle of everything here, like, like a fool. But, yeah, just trying to... Uh, yeah, uh, it's not a good place to be picking one target and trying to fixate on it. That's a good way to get killed with all this stuff in here. So, yeah, I remember this being a rough start, but getting better. Um, at any rate, get uh, my getting a little bit, a little bit less uh, dumb as the round goes on is what I remember. So we'll hope that is actually the case. And uh, let's see. Um, yeah, as you can see, they're kind of they're, they've kind of wiped our first wave. I think I'm about to get shot down before I can land a shot on that Gerbera. Yep. Let's see, I think I actually yep got killed. Uh, hit me with the wrist Vulcans. Uh, I only had 139 health, so that's why I didn't bother trying to hide or anything. Cause just I couldn't have done that much. I think on a uh, little health if I had tried to play and win another game of hide and seek, but. Yeah, so 4670 to 50, rough start for sure. I forget how close we get to taking it back or if we even overtake them at some point, but uh, uh, like I said, I, okay, well, I saved it for a couple of decent moments, that being one of them. I was thinking about trying to capture this, but uh, my allies had designs on killing it, and I can't blame them. That is the first kill of the round. Like, probably not a uh, good sign when the first kill of the round is like, a minute and a half, two minutes in, and had to be on a stationary target. That's just uh, one of those things. But also, yeah, I just hit guard the sec, uh, active guard the second I came out of uh, out of the animation, just in case I got hit. And uh, let's see, yeah, I, it's and number number one disconnected. It's it's just one of those things. I. I it's it's a, a rated round, so that means that we won't end up getting, uh, you know, losing rating points. So whatever, it's it's okay. Besides, this was already off to a horrible start. I I get the frustration. I really do. But since my goal is not necessarily to win, but to be uh, to hopefully do uh, something interesting, that's uh, still possible. So I'm going to keep with it. Uh, that Hamahama, and yeah, this is one of the reasons I kept that, that I only lost about 1,500 health by tanking that support fire with Active Guard. And I don't think I have actually, I'm sure other people have done that, but that's the first time I've managed to do it and the first time I've seen it done, so I figured it was worth showing, because it was neat. And, you know, why, why not show things that are neat if you're going to be showing stuff on YouTube? Anyway, uh, that... Also, that Gerbera Tetra has a really nice color scheme. I'm not sure what the inspiration is, but it looks good. And I'm going to blow it up now. There we go. Yeah, so as you can see, we're starting to bring it back. Uh, if, you know, it would be nice to have, uh, uh, have all of our teammates here, but also I have a feeling that I would have, you know, without the defense bonus you get from someone being out of the round, I probably would have taken more than just 1,500 damage from that support fire. Not a ton more, but still some. But let's see, I just realized there's somebody behind me. Managed to tank a downswing that would have killed me. And tackle someone to death, so I'm going to die. And guard it again, so yeah. Yeah, I kept this one because I actually made sensible use of the active guard at times. And that is rare enough um, that it is, it is worth recording for posterity. Uh, but yeah, this is... Uh, so yeah, I had I had some fun with this one. So I was, uh, you know, I, I I like I said did fairly well. We've almost managed to catch up with three minutes remaining. Okay, we're a little bit farther from it now, but everybody remaining has good health. I'm gonna jump back in when I can and uh, see if I can help. And 
basically just try not to die immediately. I'm still not great with space, but I'm, I, like I said, I think I'm doing all right this time. Uh, let's see, there is somebody below me that I need to be paying more attention to, because, yep, they're going to just turn and shoot me. That is a Delta Plus, I believe. Yep, I've got type advantage, so it is plus. And uh, somebody caught it in a downswing. And, yeah, Gustav Carl has good melee, has the slots to add even more uh, melee mod, and I believe melee mod is also what its enhancement uh, value... Uh, or in its, yeah, it's enhancement, it's hanger enhancements. Thank you, Brain. Uh, uh, do for it. So, yeah, it's it's pretty good melee-wise. I believe I, I set it up for, I think I set for defense with a side of melee, and our support just dropped, you can tell, because I can't see anybody's life bars anymore, except when I shoot them. Now, those, uh, there that is actually a function of supports. I don't, I don't think it's particularly, uh, um thought about most of the time, but yeah, supports are what lets you see enemy life bars, and that is uh, that is an incredibly useful skill, as you've probably seen over the years with, uh, you know, I'm sure you've uh, landed plenty of shots by uh, just firing slightly under the life bar as well, and that is important. Yeah, our, our cubile is back, our MP cubile is back, and now I can see life bars again, which, yeah, it's going to make my shooting a lot more accurate, hopefully. It's not going to hurt, certainly. Uh, what is going to hurt is if that Hamahama hits me, but it didn't. But yeah, we're about 3,000 points behind. That's not terrible, considering we are down a person. So, um, yeah, whatever whatever this turns out as, I will take it. And I am getting surrounded, but I was the only one alive, so I can't really fault anybody there. Because, yeah, it was... Uh, like I said, this is a tough one, but... I, like I said, I managed some uh, stuff that I, I'm pretty happy with, so I am gonna, I am gonna stick with it. Um, yeah, a minute left, we're down 5,000 points. I think we get close, but just waiting for more or less everybody to spawn in. Number four, uh, I think, threw out some support fire, so I'm gonna go with the rest of the crew and see what I can do. Let's see... Yeah, just need to find something and kill it, and then kill like three or four more like it if we if we want to get anywhere. Okay, that is that. Got hit by their own support fire, got reduced to one HP, and then I was able to kill them. So that's actually going to get us a lot closer than we otherwise would have gotten. And there's that uh, Delta Plus again, which I happily brought out of uh, Wave Rider mode. Got a good 5,000 point downswing on it. And more support fire coming through. Unfortunately, that, I think, deterred at least one of my allies, so I'm not going to have the time to deal with this Delta Plus, I don't think. Even if I do, it's not going to be enough time to do... Yeah, just out of time. That's a shame. But yeah, don't sweat it. It's, the, it's definitely the right way to think about this, because, yeah, we did the best we could. And I don't think it turned out too badly. Let's see, what was the score differential at the end? Eh... 3,500 points. Again, being a person down, that's not bad. I did 4,100 points. I was uh, top uh, score. And, you know, I said it is what it is, but I'm still gonna report that person for rage quitting. Because, you know, just... I, uh, I've i done it myself. I try not to anymore. It's, uh, you know, if they hadn't done it, we probably would have won. But, yeah, I got some decent stuff done in that round, though, so I hope you en uh, enjoyed it. Uh, well, that's an edit point. Hope you enjoyed it, Chris, and that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I keep eyeballing the Gustav Karl model kit, but it is a little bit pricier than most high grades because, you know, Gustav Karl is big. Still thinking about it, though.